Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato, and welcome back to a brand new Narwhal Entertainment Let's Play. This is kind of a different thing I'm doing. Uh, this is Sherlock Holmes, Mystery of the Mummy. That's not really different. The different part is I haven't... This is not my footage. This is from a... Uh, Andrea Panocchia's uh, Let's Play of it. Because this game does not work on my computer. Sherlock Holmes, thank you so much for your interest in this affair. Finally, I found some peace after knowing oh, what the, acting. the disappearance of my father, Lord Monkar, six months ago, is now being investigated by you, my saviour. I know that you will find the truth, and you will tell me exactly what happened to my father. You're sincerely your devoted future cousin, Elizabeth Monkar. P.S. Please, I beg you to keep this business a secret. I really don't want your dear cousin Andrew, whom I'm going to marry very soon, to find out about it. It is very fortunate that Watson is away. I'll be able to make inquiry and keep it secret as my cousin wished. So yeah, this game, I tried to get it working, but either it wouldn't start, or if it did start, Mr. Sherlock, the screen would just be black, and if the screen actually loaded in with graphics, I couldn't move the mouse. It's just not worth getting it to run. It's impossible. I, I tried all the things on I found online, nothing worked. So, here we are. So it is the manor of Lord Montcalm. Seems no one is at home. I'll try to find evidence proving his death and report them to my cousin Elizabeth. Only doing this because I plan to do the... read the letter from Elizabeth again. Only doing this because I plan to do the rest of the Sherlock Holmes stuff. I can't read that. Uh, thank you so much for your interest in this affair. I found... It's... I cannot read the, the font. Uh, I deeply regret that I cannot give you the key to the manor. I don't believe that such an obstacle will stop you. But, eh. Whatever. There's some Egyptian stuff around. From Frogwares, by the way. Guys who made Sinking City. Incredible. It is a real museum. Some nice mummies. This is Mystery of the Mummy, mummy after all. But, like, I applied to the other ones. Silver Rearing, The Awakened. Uh, versus Jack the Ripper. Nemesis. A lot of Sherlock Holmes games and... This is the first one, so may as well get it, get it at least done. Oh, secret door! It is a point-and-click adventure puzzle game. Uh, kind of plays a bit like Mist. It is obvious. Bit like Dracula. I have played another Frogwares game, um, Dracula Origins. Key to open that door. That's more third person than this is. This is more like Dracula Unlocked. the Resurrection and, and Last Sanctuary and such. This is the mummy of Kaipeset, priest of Aton. I didn't know that Lord Monkhaf had such archaeological treasures at home. It's illegible. Hmm. All these pieces must have been taken from the tomb of the priest. Okay, got a disc. Ah, I recognize Horus. These tools might be helpful. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Secret passage. The lock is old. I can simply break Let's it. Let's use the hammer and chisel. Or just the chisel. Ooh, got a key. Nice statue. It's broken, but... Extract from the book of the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Mm, burial urns. They were in the sarcophagi with the mummy. 
Sarcophagus, Sarcophagi is multiple. Seth, Sobek, Bess, Anubis, Thought, or Toth, uh, Selket, Nout. Various Egyptian deities. Uh, Anubis is probably the most well known. Open the door with the key. Hmm, the lock is so rusty, I could break the key in it. I need to oil it Let's first. Let's get some oil. No, we have oil. Cool. Unlocked. All right. Oh, what? It's an actual mummy. Or is this some Scooby-Doo shit? A mummy. Quite an unusual inhabitant of a man. Does nothing phase you, Sherlock? I, I know you were played by Benedict Cumberbatch, but I didn't know you were actually Doctor Strange. Now you're also played by Peter Cushing, who was Tarkin and Van Helsing and the guy in The Mummy and Victor Frankenstein. A lot of people. In Basically, if there's a Hammer horror film, he's the protagonist. And Christopher Let's Lee's usually the monster. Let's take a closer look at these boxes. Closed. Let's use the hammer, rip them open. Got to grab some stuff. I'll need something to open the lock on this cupboard. Uh a tie pin. That'll work. A whiskey bottle. At least I won't die of thirst. Okay. I don't think you're trapped in here, like locked in the museum, Sherlock. Also, I think there's water somewhere. Again, a room full of Egyptian relics. Does Lord Moncalf have a big collection? Clearly, he does. This is the statue of Amenophis. Good, and that's Anubis. Well, it's a, it's a jackal, at least. It must be a knife for sacrifices. Can we have it? It's well protected. Is there a mummy inside? Possibly. A piece of bandage. Somebody is wounded or... Ooh, a lot of pictures. This child is Elizabeth Montcalf. Why is such a nice photo hidden? Oh, that's nice. L. Ooh. Gotta put the matching discs in, I'm assuming. I should know more about these symbols. Uh, we, got, we need more information before we can attempt the puzzle. It's one of those... Frogwares does that a lot in my experience. Uh, this is a very short game. This Let's Play is only going to be three episodes, but still. I like that's not based on any specific Sherlock Holmes story. It's more of a inspired by the it's in, like about the character, like Shadow of Zorro was, or uh, or the Arkham games. I'm not putting this on the same level as the Arkham games, but there's uh, Toth. There's I don't quite know. Unlocked. Nice. All right. The other Sherlock Holmes games I will be playing on my own. Just this one does not work. <laughs> to the point where it's free on Steam. Lord Moncalf, the well-known scientist and explorer, is going to open his eyes doors to the public and display the artifacts from his numerous expeditions. These documents about Lord Moncalf are very peculiar. Let's see if I can find more. These books are interesting, but I don't have time for reading. Are we, I think we're investigating the disappearance of Moncalf. The pages have been torn out. I do not see anything interesting. Ooh. It 
It seems that the door is connected to that strange system. Ah, uh, not the best gear puzzle I've ever seen. It seems that the door is connected to that strange system. Some pages have been torn out. I do not see anything interesting. Ooh, see, the secret door is freaking everywhere here. What the hell? Oh, this isn't a secret door. It's a stove. All right. That's a lot of fire starting. It's gonna explode. Okay. Digging the jazz. I really like the music here. It's nice. It's jazzy. Ha cha cha. All right. There are so many books. Lord Montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them. Or he just has, but. I, very few people have read every book they own, Sherlock. For the world's greatest detective, you're not really that bright. <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions. This book is in the right place. What can I do with the other one? Religion book. Ooh. These books are heavy. I cannot walk around with them. I thought you adventure game protagonists would have like infinite strength and uh, infinite pocket capacity. Have the appeal. Why'd I do the tongue clicking thing? That didn't apply to anything here. Law book. Put that in law books. This does look fun. I wish I could get it to work so I could play it myself. <laughs> So many books. Lord Montcalf must have had a lot of time to read all of them. Ooh, philosophy. It has a key inside. I'm guessing philosophy is the key. Haha. -ha. The key to what, though? That's the question. A philosophical question. It's simplicity itself. Is he trying to say everything but it's elementary? This statue is not ancient. Oh, isn't it? How do you know? You're not a historian, you're a detective. And technically an amateur detective, too. This old gun might be dangerous. Well, it's a gun. Of course it's dangerous. That's the point of guns. Ha! This door is locked. I can see the key in the lock. I should find something to push it out. Lion head or spear? Uh, since you're afraid of the yours. Hmm. Elizabeth didn't tell me that she had studied archaeology. Why would she? <laughs> Ooh. Well, Mumphus Eleven seems to have gone for a walk. 
strange. There's sand here. Hmm. Yes, strange indeed. The mystery of the mummy. Okay, hmm. he was the one who wanted to get the Montcamp treasure. Lord Montcamp didn't like him so much. Leslie Barney, Lord Montcalf. Montcalf oh. is archaeological truth. Looks cool. It's very strange that I have not seen any of them on the ground floor. Maybe in a special collection upstairs. That's possible. Maybe he keeps them in his room. Lord Montcalf loved beautiful crepes, just like me. Are you sure you're not Lord Moncalf? This cleaner is solid, but it's used to clean very strange pipes. Aha! Uh -huh. Lord Moncalf in Egypt. I wonder who the people standing by him are. We'll find out, I'm sure. Hmm. There's a camera. No doubt, it is Lord Moncalf's study room. It's quite messy. What a mess. Someone was looking for something here. It's been ransacked. I need something to open it. Can you use the cane? Ooh. Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, it's a Red Service collection. That's pretty cool. This register is fake. Lord Moncalf is trying to find something. Some items I saw in the photos are not registered here, except for the items of no historical value. Nothing. The blackboard. Everything has been erased. Not really, but all right. Shooting an elephant. I remember doing using an elephant gun in the Van Helsing I game. Need to open it. You need some kind of screwdriver, I think. What is this spyglass for? Probably some sort of nonsensical puzzle. This is Spencer Mansion, after all. Oh no! This is some goofy shit. <laughs> I was right. Someone is wandering around the house. Uh, everyone's resigning. All right. In that case, who opened the door for me? Ooh, that's a nice pipe. Bath water. What a sound it made near the end there. Sand? No doubt. It is the same sand I saw in the broken stand in the living room. Does Morpheus take baths? So is this like a Scooby Doo Sherlock Holmes story? Scooby Dooby Doo versus Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> statue oh, same statue the not ancient statue looks like a reproduction probably but the I hope it's large enough and then use the thing on the door then you pull the paper out and then you have the key lucky me it's not luck Sherlock you're just good at your job. Whatever the hell your job Where am I? is. In London or in Cairo? Uh, London. 
I was just praising your intelligence. Don't tell me you don't actually know your geographical location, dude. Ooh. This powder is makeup. And I can use it as a disguise to look older. Ooh, we're gonna have disguise time? That sounds fun. Oh, the hat of the famous explorer, Lord Montcalf. Ooh, that looks like a chessboard. Not a chessboard, a puzzle board. Gotta find the pieces so we can do the puzzle, I guess. To unlock the thing. Are, is he gonna comment of Monk Moncalf being out of his goddamn mind, which is why everything has a puzzle to unlock it? Ooh, a key. It could prove useful. It is a very beautiful picture. I can see a small crack. You can use the fork on the crack? Oh, it was a fork, not a key. Ooh. A real collection register. Here is the whole collection of Lord Montcalf. I see valuable objects which I have not seen on the ground floor. I like this jazz music, but it doesn't really fit Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> At least in the 1800s. A hunting trophy. Take the cane, open the trophy, secret vault, ooh, a package. Puzzle pieces! Nice. Hmm. Puzzle time! Put that there, or there. Okay. So, you have to put them in a specific order? Alright, that's fine, I guess. Boom! What's in here? Papers! Okay. I, one, woman, two, cat, three, man, four. If it's an encrypted message, I'll need to learn the Egyptian language very quickly. I'm sure you can with your weird brain. Uh, if you want to read this, pause. Okay. Cat. Man. There we go. Ooh, the Staff of Ra. No, I need something long. How about an Egyptian scepter? What the hell? Okay, so we broke a pot somehow. <laughs> Fucking moon logic, this game. Scarab thing. Hmm. Looks like there's a pistol in there, too. I do not like weapons, which I don't know. I will not take it with me. You're not smart, Sherlock. Ooh, slide puzzle.
Hey, all right. That's a freaking photograph. Like right out of a National Geographic or a high school history textbook. So, my idea of what happened so far is he stole um, artifacts from Egypt, which is very much against the law there. And they're trying to kill him. Or they have killed him. Or they've kidnapped him. I don't think Elizabeth is on the up and up, personally. I think there's more to this than uh, than meets the eye, which is... Well, I hope there's more than meets the eye to this, because we basically just started. It would be kind of disappointing if, this, if it's all at face value. I mean, it's a mystery, right? The mystery of the mummy, specifically. I found out there's a Redwall game. Uh, I should probably look into that. I love Redwall. Grew up on the show and the books. Slide puzzles. I'm reminded of how I solved my uh, my Hellraiser Rubik's Cube. I disassembled it and reassembled it in the right order. Gordian not thinking. <laughs> uh, the Gordian knot was a knot that they said no one could untie, and so Alexander the Great went and cut it in half with his sword. That helps solve many problems, I've realized. <laughs> like, who says you have to play by the stupid rules they set out for you, right? Lateral thinking. And that's pretty much um, about all the time we have for now. I've been Merrick Tomato. These must protect a lot of treasure if they are guarded so well. And I will see you next time for the continuing look into the mystery of the mummy. Um. Okay, I won't force it. Take this. It's very nice, but it has no value. It's fake. Ciao, guys. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you like, if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.
Ciao.